Number 10. The Tomb of the Red Queen Not all discoveries can be explained by science. Take the Tomb of the Red Queen, for example. This remarkable tomb was discovered by a Mexican archaeologist back in 1994 in the ancient city of Palenque, and even today, experts don't quite understand what she was doing there. The Tomb of the Red Queen was found full of treasures. Among the treasures was the sarcophagus with the Red Queen herself inside. Her skeleton was decorated lavishly with an impressive collection of shells, jade, and pearls around her head. The woman's chest was also covered with pieces of jade and obsidian. But here's where the mystery comes in. While researchers have been calling the woman the Red Queen, nobody actually knows who she was or why she was buried in such an extravagant way. They know that she lived sometime between 600 and 700 AD thanks to the pottery discovered inside the tomb, but very little else is known. The woman would have died when she was about 60 years old, she had healthy teeth, and she likely had a diet comprised of meat. None of these three things were typical for the Maya people of that time. They didn't have good teeth, they didn't eat only meat, and they generally didn't live to a ripe old age. But even stranger is that back in those days, women did not have a prominent place in society. This means that the Red Queen was an anomaly. She may have been the wife of a prominent Mayan king, but researchers truly don't know the answer. Number 9. Worm or Spine The military statue you're looking at right now is one of the most mysterious pieces of art ever. Or is it? There are two of these statues that were actually crafted by Silvio Cosini, a very close pupil of Michelangelo. The statues were part of a project to decorate the new sacristy, which had been left unfinished back in 1534 when Michelangelo moved to Rome. And while the pieces themselves are incredible, the mystery here is that there appears to be a worm trying to slither out of the place where the head should be. There's a large hole as if somebody cut the head off of the statue, and coming from the hole is what almost looks like a leech trying to get out of the body. Of course, this isn't actually a mystery at all. It's just a severed spinal cord that looks like a worm. You can find these statues, known as military trophies, in the new sacristy at the Basilica of San Lorenzo in Florence, Italy. Number 8. The Ancient Winchester not only are scientists baffled by this next story, but so is everyone else. A seemingly legendary Winchester rifle was discovered leaning against a juniper tree in a national park in Nevada, and it apparently sat there undisturbed for 132 years. There's absolutely no story behind the weapon, but there are definitely a lot of theories. The gun had faded over the years, its barrel was rusted and brown, and it indeed blended perfectly against the tree where it was found in the Great Basin National Park. An engraving on the gun had it marked as a Model 1873. After doing a little bit of research, the service employee at the National Park who found the gun discovered that it had been shipped in 1882. Unfortunately, so were about 700,000 other rifles between 1873 and 1916. In 1882 alone, there were over 25,000 of these weapons made. For that reason, it's impossible to know who owned it or what they were doing with it. Or for that matter, why they left it leaning against a tree. At the time the Winchester 1873 came out, it cost a whopping $50, or about $1,000 in today's money. Some people believe this particular model belonged to a roving cowboy riding high on the range. It also could have been owned by a prospector, who forgot it against the tree on a hot day. But according to others, it was simply left by a hunter who probably forgot where he had leaned it. In any case, this mystery isn't going to be solved anytime soon. Number 7. Colombian Mummies in the small Colombian town of San Bernardo, located high up in the Andes Mountains, there's a mystery that's been boggling scientists since the 50s. It all started when preserved remains were found when the local cemetery was relocated because of a flood. While moving the bodies, locals discovered that all the buried dead were in ridiculously perfect condition. They had somehow been mummified without anyone putting them through the mummification process. And while some of the natives of the town claimed that it was the local diet that helped the bodies stay preserved, that didn't make sense because the outfits of the mummies were also perfectly preserved. Basically, scientists have no idea why the people of San Bernardo refused to rot. It could have something to do with the cold weather and the high altitude, but nobody really knows. Anyone buried within the boundaries of San Bernardo became mummified with literally no chemical intervention. If you're feeling curious, you can always check out the mummies, which are being held in a special mausoleum in the town cemetery. Number 6. The Thracian Tomb Thousands of years ago in what is now Bulgaria, Thracian tribes ruled the land. 
There's not much known about these people other than what has been written by foreign historians. The Thracians instead left their memory behind in rock sanctuaries and tombs. Basically, anything connected to the Thracian civilization that lived in the days of Rome is shrouded in mystery. But one of the most mysterious of all the Thracian leftovers is Pomeri. It's an old Thracian tomb whose purpose is unknown. The tomb is located inside the hollow of a hill, with the only entrance being a thin corridor, kind of like a tunnel going into a mountain. Inside is the burial chamber. Scientists have absolutely no idea who was buried here but it's assumed that the tomb probably belonged to a wealthy family and was used as a mausoleum before eventually being converted into a temple where mysterious Thracian religious rituals were held. Believe it or not, this is just one of many Thracian tombs that's baffled scientists. Because of little documentation about these people, it's simply too hard to say who was buried or why. We may never know for sure. Number 5. The Olmec Colossal Heads the Olmec civilization lived in Mexico back in ancient times. While most people are familiar with the Aztec or the Maya, the Olmec were also prominent people back around 900 BC. But rather than leaving behind complex tombs and pyramids, the Olmec people left behind colossal heads, and scientists are still trying to figure out how and why. The biggest issue is that the heads are gigantic. They're also located in strange places, Scientists are still unsure how exactly the Olmec managed to move the heads from place to place or why it was such a significant thing to do. Researchers first discovered the giant heads back in 1862, but it wasn't until 1938 that archaeologists began trying to piece together their origins. So far, there have been a total of 17 stone heads discovered throughout Mexico and Guatemala. They weigh anywhere from 6 tons to 50 tons and range between 5 and 12 feet in height. Another unique feature of the colossal heads is that each one seems to depict a certain person. They were likely constructed to portray the ruler of the time, but there simply isn't enough known about them to be sure. The craftsmanship is superb, and the detail is highly advanced for such an ancient culture. Number 4. The Lost City of the Kalahari The Kalahari Desert is one of the driest places in the world. In fact, the word Kalahari comes from the Tswana word meaning great thirst. Back in 1885, an American traveling through the Kalahari Desert apparently came across the ancient ruins of a long-lost civilization. The American's name was William Hunt, and he allegedly found large stones held together by cement, forming structures in the shapes of semicircles. He believed that he had stumbled upon a lost city in the center of the Kalahari Desert. Considering this was about 130 years ago, when stories of the ancient and lost city reached the ears of civilization, explorers were very interested. At least 30 expeditions have been launched since then in search of the lost city. However, the big mystery here is that nothing has ever been found. The original American explorer never left any notes or details about the exact location where he found the ruins. Also, he claimed that it was already half buried when he found it. That means that even if the ruins of an ancient culture are still in the Kalahari wasteland, they could have since been swallowed by the Sea of Sand. Basically, finding these ruins now would be like finding a needle in a haystack. In fact, some scientists don't even believe the ruins exist. Some claim that rather than finding the ruins of an ancient civilization, the Americans simply found some unusual rock formations in the desert. But regardless of whether the city exists or not, expeditions are still going on to this very day. In 2013 and 2016, expeditions were launched with the help of Google Maps to try and find any kind of anomaly that could represent artificial structures. So far, nobody has turned up any information about this possibly lost desert civilization. Number 3. The Sibiu Manuscript The Sibiu Manuscript defies time. This ancient manuscript allegedly detailed liquid fuel and multi-stage rockets far before they were ever invented. The manuscript is about 400 pages, and it was originally found in Romania six decades ago by a professor of science and technology at the University of Bucharest. The manuscript definitely exists. It's a very real thing, recovered from the archives of the city of Sibiu. And even though it was discovered in modern times, the manuscript is believed to go back to the 16th century. However, nobody is sure who wrote the manuscript. The most likely contestant is a German man named Konrad Haas who existed between 1509 and 1576. Haas was a military engineer originally born in Vienna. He was one of the first people ever to work with rockets and fuel, primarily by using fireworks. 
It's believed that this German could have figured out the secret to rocket technology hundreds of years before it was ever implemented, then described his findings in a manuscript. However, the reason why his research was lost is a mystery. If he did write the CBU manuscripts, it would make Haas a genius well before his time. Some claims say the work of Konrad Haas went on to inspire Johann Schmidlap, who allegedly designed and experimented with the first step rocket system in 1590. Number 2. The Weirdest Mushroom Let's step away from technology and take a look at some mushrooms. These mushrooms look almost like fuzzy footballs, but they then bloom and peel back to look kind of like moldy brown flowers. And no, these are not the mushrooms that you eat to see funny colors and giggle until 4 in the morning. These are known as Codioactus geister, and they're only found in a few counties in Texas and in one prefecture in Japan. You can probably guess the mystery here pretty easily. Why is there a special kind of mushroom that only lives in Texas and Japan? These two places are not even remotely connected. It makes absolutely no sense that a plant, or rather a fungus, would exist only in these two locations. And quite frankly, scientists can't figure it out. A recent DNA study of samples from both Texas and Japan has revealed the most likely scenario. It appears that the specimens, even though they look the same, were not exactly identical. They seem to have separated into two distinct lineages somewhere around 19 million years ago. However, it still doesn't answer the question of how that happened. It would make sense if the mushrooms were found in British Columbia or even Washington, since many millions of years ago the land masses would have been close to Japan. But Texas is an absolute mystery. Number 1. Saturn's Raging Storm The last discovery that scientists can't explain is the giant hexagonal storm on Saturn. This is undoubtedly the largest and most violent mystery in the universe. For those who need a bit of reminding, Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in the solar system. It's roughly nine times larger than the Earth, and at the north pole of the planet is a storm that has been raging at least since its original discovery by the Voyager mission in 1981. Even today, scientists have no idea why it continues to rage. So far as anyone can tell, the storm is roughly twice the diameter of the Earth. It could be a jet stream made of atmospheric gases swirling into a violent tornado, but the planet is so far away that it's hard to know the truth. The hexagon never shifts in longitude, and it has stayed the exact same since it was first discovered, other than sometimes changing from blue to red, which scientists attribute to sunlight creating a haze inside the storm. Scientists have put some theories forward. One of the theories says that it's not actually one storm, but a large collection of separate vortices spiraling out of control to create a hexagon shape with perfect boundary stability. Basically, it's a series of tornadoes swirling around to create a larger hurricane the size of almost two Earths. As for why the storm continues to rage, scientists are still not 100% sure. Do you have any theories about these mysterious finds? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to come back soon for another amazing video.